I'm in Habegonj, which is a small town in Silet, where most people actually make a living by either working in tea plantations or agriculture. But here's a school that wants to change all that. Joy Sudit Baju is a VIP at this polytechnic. I course I need to the but his day job might surprise you. Joy is one of 280,000 foreign construction workers in Singapore. But back home in Bangladesh, he's the reason why hundreds of youths are becoming sought after engineers. We travel to Joy's hometown to find out more. Seven years ago, this district of 2 million didn't have a polytechnic institute. And aspiring students would either have to travel to bigger cities to get their training, which they cannot afford to do, or they would end up with a general high school or college education that Joy says simply isn't as useful in getting a job. The idea to set up a polytechnic came to Joy in 2011 when he attended free skills training for foreign workers organised by the Building and Construction Authority. Once a week for three months, he got a taste of Singapore-style technical education. Over the next few months, he spent his free time visiting polytechnics around the island. The first person he called to share his idea with was his wife. But the conversation didn't go so well. As a primary school principal, Joy's wife Ripa Datta knows better than anyone how students in Habigonj would benefit from a good polytechnic set up right in their backyard. So good morning students. Still, she was taken aback by Joy's idea of building a school with their own money. However, after taking time to digest her husband's wild idea, she came around. Her father donated a small piece of land for the school building, and her brother, an engineering graduate, took on the job of the school administrator. Joy's role is to contribute financially. Each month, three quarters of his monthly salary of 1,200 Singapore dollars goes into building and running what he's named the North East Ideal Polytechnic. What he wants is for students to have the kind of education he wishes he had when he was younger. He came to work in Singapore at the age of 24 to support an extended family of 11. Some of these nephews and nieces are now working professionals. But years of hard labour have taken a toll on his health. Since early 2019, he's been back home nursing a back injury, unsure of when he would be well enough to return to work. But this break has given him the chance to see just how far the polytechnic has come. So far, almost 60 students have graduated from the four-year program. 85% have found jobs, an impressive figure for a country with very high youth unemployment rate.
There are now plans to set up a second branch of the Polytechnic in Sri Mangal, another district in Silet. Thank you. 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 Thank you.